Hey, Crazy Cooter here, Box Car Bandit, Texas Roadrunner and Xena. We're on a southbound to Houston. We would have been here last night, but the train, train never the aired up. Third train over, it came in and it set a bunch of stuff off. We thought, okay, he's just going to set it off there and come back for it. We called in, it was going to, uh, the car behind us was going to New Orleans. We knew he was going to Houston. And, like, that wasn't until the 23rd. And uh, it still had a few days, so it's like, all right, it's going to go to Houston between now and then. Hey, we got a pretty good nap last night, though. That's yeah. It's a lot better then than they, uh, else. the train, they backed the train onto the second track here, where these lumber racks are. Then they ran the power to the other end and went north. Well, I was like, well, fuck. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so. <laughs> and, uh, but we fucked around all night, all day, and. This one came in, it's like, well, fuck, let's book it, you know. And uh, conductor seen us, he, he was tightening down the handbrakes over there. He's like, man, you scared the shit out of me. I was like, wasn't trying to, man. He's like, how'd you get that, how'd you get that dog so quiet, man? Like, I've been training him for many years. And shit, he scared the hell out of us. He's like, <laughs> I bet, he's like, I bet y'all was like, god damn, he's coming right where we're at. I was like, yeah. I had, I had a, I had a uh, situation like that right Early 2017, before I had Xena, I was in San Antonio. It was the last train I took before I, before I got the dog. And, uh, we took a southbound from, what was the old SPR or something like that? Yeah, so we fucking, it was an IM, and we got about 5 to 10 miles outside of town. We're, like, right outside this plant between the plant and the cornfield, and it's a nice size yard. And so they come to go over and uncouple my train, and the fucking guy comes up. He's, like, right here, right here, uncoupling the train. And I mean, I'm pretty sure he saw me, but he didn't say anything. That was the closest no. until I got seen. You know, that was the closest I came to being thrown in jail for being on the rails. But I doubt he'll. I doubt he's going to say anything. He seemed pretty cool guy. Oh yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. I know. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen him before. I know he says no, but I'm pretty sure I've seen him. Well, anyway, that's all for now. We're going to do a video a little bit later on when we get to Houston. Hopefully we get off outside of the fucking yard because I really don't want to get. I'm hoping we get off in Cleveland, to be honest. Yeah, we well, get off in Cleveland or Splendor or someplace we can get to Houston. And then um, anywhere but that one. You know, I get agree. down to Sedgwick's yard and catch the bomb off from there. But that's all for now. We are southbound to Houston. Uh, we sent Lumpkin. This train sit there for good.
me and Roadrunners got off this train. Uh, we spent 10 hours on that damn train. And we've only been like, uh, I think 65 miles. And oh, I've been sweltering today. And we had to get off because the dog's got to get some air, yeah, get some water. You gotta use the bathroom and everything. We spent, uh, well, we left. This train came into Lufkin this morning around 10 a.m. And we got here around 8. So that's 12 hours, or 10 hours. And we've been on it ever since then. And it didn't leave Lufkin until about 3 or 4. And, uh, it's a long-ass train, too. We got a DPU in the middle. A very state of very rarely see DPUs on this line it's between uh, Shreveport and Houston on the old OSP route. <coughs> and um, you very seldom see a DPU on this line. So they picked up a pretty good string in Lufkin. And I don't know why the hell they're still stopped for. There ain't the one track here. And, uh, we stopped somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, no crossing for a few miles. So Figure they gotta be crew changes somewhere or sometime. They might have done that in Lufkin before they left, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, well, tomorrow in the morning we're gonna hitchhike to uh, Cleveland, and uh, then I'm gonna try to hitch from there to uh, Beaumont. I wanna avoid Houston if I can. Uh, if I have to go to Houston, I'll go to Houston. I, I really hate Houston, it sucks. But, um, at least I know from Seneca's Yard, I can catch you eastbound out of there, or from uh, Inglewood Yard, I mean, I can catch you eastbound from there, straight to Beaumont. Then, uh, I don't know where I go from there, probably back towards Louisiana. Uh, back, probably back towards uh, De Quincey and uh, Leesville. Try to get off of Leesville, uh, see what's going on there for a couple of days, and make my way back to Shreveport, and um, probably head up to Kansas. But uh, I remember I just went to the store, and uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it all works out. We make it somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's, it's that time of year where it's getting warm again. So stay hydrated, stay safe, y'all. Later.